hi guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> um if you're new here karibuni sana my name is tiffy jane welcome to my channel thank you for clicking on this video yes so <laughs> you guys i've been waiting to share this news with you guys and also to just pin this memory here because i want to remember this day i don't know this few months as in i just want to remember them for the rest of my life Yes, I am pregnant. Yes, um, I am 20 weeks pregnant, five months pregnant. Yeah. So um, I just wanted to share my story with you guys. You know, and also, like I said, I want to pin this memory here so that I can always go back and just remember this amazing, amazing time in my life. So um, um, this is a serious answered prayer. I will just say that. Because my boyfriend and I, um, we've, we've, okay, we've been together for four years. Okay, we are turning four in December on his birthday, December 29th. So, uh, we figured a point in our lives where we wanted a baby. But, yeah, it didn't happen the first time we were, <laughs> it tried out. But then, with the grace of God, we are pregnant, we are having a baby, and... It is a great answered prayer because honestly not everyone who wants to have a baby can have a baby or not not everyone can have a baby so it's we do not take that for granted we are so happy so how we found out so okay you know when you expect a baby and you try for the first time and the second time you don't get the baby you never know when because now you try you just try and wait you know and for me it's so funny I had no signs, like the, I don't know how, I don't know, I, my, my signs were not obvious, like, it's, I don't know, cause, what happened, you guys, I told you guys, I moved back home, cause my house had so many issues, so I moved back home, in, in July 1st, right, so July 1st, I moved back home, I had no idea I was pregnant. So I moved back home, you know, just, I, I stayed there for a whole, the whole of July, the whole of September. No, the whole of July and August, sorry, September I moved out. So what happened, when I moved back home, I stayed, I stayed a couple of days. I think it was two weeks, yeah, because, okay, what happened was, all of a sudden, my bladder started going, started going crazy. That's how, this is now how, how I found out I was pregnant. So what happened? My bladder started going crazy. You guys, I'm one of those people who can hold pee for so long. And no pain, no nothing. We just can do that, you know, effortlessly, flawlessly. <laughs> so yeah, so when I started, you know, Nakazwasana, I was like, hmm? like that, what is going on? Like this, the, I, this is not me, you know. So fast, that is a sign of an infection. Okay, when you have an infection, that also happens. Like your bladder becomes so loose, all that, all that. So actually this, wait, before we even get to July, in June, end of June, I, 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 okay, this is when the problem of the bladder started. Eh? But then, okay, I, my bladder was so loose. Like I would go to the toilet all the time. And then it figured a point when there's this particular day. Now towards the end of June, going to July 29th, 30th there, I, I, I was peeing and it was painful. So I was like, hey, why? This is an infection in your for jail. So what I did, I went to the hospital. I, I go to Avenue Hospital. So I went to Avenue Hospital. I was treated. I had an infection and I was given meds. And, and it's so weird. You know, you guys, I know. No, I, I, I remember that the only feel your pain. I consumed it. I consumed it. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> but I was constipating. I, I, there's a day I was constipating. So I, I felt so weird. So that constipation and the loose bladder and the pain made me go to hospital. So I went to the hospital and they found that I had an infection. It was the one that I was causing all that. However, I remember so well. That's why I, when every time I go to Avenue Hospital, I always tell, I always tell <laughs> my nurse, please make sure I do not go with this doctor. Because I remember so well, 
I went into the doctors. I told I was she was like, you know, this is an infection. We're gonna treat it. I'm just gonna give you because then my urine was tested, all that, all that was tested, a blood. So she was like, have an infection. I'm gonna treat that. I'm going to give you this and this and this. I was like, okay. But I asked her, you know, out out of nowhere, like out of nowhere, like I had no idea. But I was like, can I be pregnant? Like, could it be a pregnant? Could could it be a pregnancy sign? Like, can it be any out of nowhere? I just asked. Asked a very innocent question. She was like, "No, why pregnancy? How? Why? Why? Why would you even think about pregnancy? Like, why was that your first thought? How do you think you're pregnant?" She started attacking me. I was like, "Oh my god! I just, I was just asking because so I was like, "Ah, okay, never mind then, because I don't, I don't know if I'm, I don't think I don't. It's, you know, it's loose bladder, so I don't know." So you're the doctor. So she gave me meds, and I went back home. And imagine, Kaisha, I stopped feeling pain. I didn't constipate again. I didn't constipate again. And then the loose bladder thing, Kaisha. Then, like a week or two later, hey, me, the loose bladder came back again. Like, they cannot. And then, you know, me, I don't even, you know, I'm those people when I sleep at night, I meet with Chapatana Subu. I, I, I do not wake up. I do not wake up at night. I have to go peace, to go get some milk, just some water. I, upon me, I only sleep through the night. I don't have insomnia problems so all of a sudden i'm waking up at night I'm going to the loo all the time like i would wake up once or twice in the night to go to the loo i would you know it was so crazy my bladder was crazy like every time i would pass through town before i go to work i have to go to the public toilet because i can't get to work because i am so pressed you know it was so crazy I saw me i was like i mean my bladder has problems i have to go back to the hospital so i went back to the hospital and guess what the doctor is like, hey, bullets test you for pregnancy. That was now 17th July. That's like two weeks after I had left this other door. I had seen it talk a hosting cartoon capona in the campus. I for pregnancy. Why pregnancy? I was like, okay. So I went back. And then, okay, what actually I've remembered. Um before actually, and the, and when I was pressed, every time I was pressed, I would feel pain in my blood. As in naskanikana fin you wanna You know there's some type of pain. It's not painful, but it's discomfort. Na ni pain kumbali. I don't know if I'm making sense, but it's pain from a from a distance, but it's so uncomfortable. It was just weird. So I knew hey, my, my, my blood has problems. I don't know. So I went back, the doc, the doc is like, you let me test you for pregnancy first and also an infection because it also could be the infection didn't go kabisa. So we are t I'm tested and he's like, there are a few signs, he, 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 I'm tested, <laughs> I'm tested. And then he t turns out he checks the infection, he's like, hey, this, the, your, your, your urine is okay, there's no infection, you're good. However, with your pregnancy test, you are a pregnant girl <laughs> so i'm like okay it was so crazy you know i i wanted a baby like i really wanted a baby then somebody here's somebody telling me you know you what you're pregnant how are you how do you feel i'm like oh. <laughs> too much is it because i took accident tearing up i'm like okay this is not happening then i was like trying to you know think of questions i could ask so i thought i asked i asked him like how far am i he took out he took out the pregnancy chart the the whatever and he calculated you know from my peas and all that wow it was so i don't know <laughs> it was so crazy oh oh my goodness it was so so crazy because he calculated and turns out i was, I was already done with the month i was in the second week of the second month so all that time i had no idea i was pregnant i was not puking i was not I did not have morning sickness. The only thing that the only thing that made him suspect I was pregnant was the bladder issue, of which it could be caused by so many things: infection, UTI, you know, those things. But turns out there was a baby baking in my belly, and I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, and it was an an as an answered prayer. I was so happy. I don't know. The moment he just said, I did. <laughs> I had to check the computer. <laughs> You know, it's not the first time I've done a pregnancy test and it came out negative. Neither is it the second time nor the third time. I've done a couple of pregnancy tests and they've not been positive. So you can imagine it's a machine <laughs> and it's like you're pregnant. So I was like, can I see? Let me just see just to confirm that you're not lying. So you're not joking, you know. 
so he turns his computer and i see the positive sign and i'm like oh my goodness i'm pregnant i'm carrying a baby like it was so magic it was so i don't know i can't even explain it, but i was so happy it was like the best feeling ever i went there thinking i have an infection you know i've had a kidney infection before so i thought eh, hey, maybe that thing is coming back but turns out i was pregnant I, it was like the best feeling ever then he i didn't even get okay i was not i was not sick so i knew he wasn't i wasn't subscribed to drugs so i just asked a few i think i asked a few questions i cannot remember i think i asked now what do, do i do what do i eat what not to eat i think i asked so many questions and he was like this is what you eat there's some meds you're supposed to be taking there's some boosters are supposed to be taking for likasi you know there's some iron you need to be taking so he, he told me that was i'm supposed to be taking and he told me go buy this and this and this and this and go get this and this and this so he told me he gave me details and he told me you should immediately you learn you're pregnant to you start your you start your clinic don't wait for the fourth month or the just start immediately and yeah he advised me a lot and he told me things to do things not to do and then I left his office, you guys. I felt like he scared joy, unexplainable kind of joy, like joy in Guinea. I can't even describe it. I felt so nice. I was so happy. I don't know. I I <laughs> I felt like screaming and telling everyone I was pregnant. <laughs> oh my god, it was so nice. So I got out, I went to the escalator because I couldn't I was shaking. I you know I was now taking out my phone to call my boyfriend. So I called him and I told him he's going to be a daddy. He was so happy. He made me cry on the phone because, oh my God, he was so happy until he just made me cry. I was so happy. I was so happy. We we're going to have a baby finally. <laughs> so then came telling my mother. She was the first person I told. Okay, the second person after my boyfriend because as we, as we were, we knew. And then also, you know, my periods come like the first week and it was 17th. So it was kind of we kind of suspected it so but we, we i had no signs so i was like probably they're just late you know that's why i didn't even take it so seriously i was like oh, probably they're just late because i had no pregnancy signs maybe no bladder things are signs i didn't know that i just knew hey you will puke you will puke or you just have be feel sick every morning me i never felt anything you know so i went back home my mom came home <laughs> You know, I, I didn't want to keep it a secret because I was so happy. I, I actually could not keep it a secret. I was so excited. I just felt like telling everybody. But I couldn't. So, um, I called. My, my mom came back home because, you know, I was living with my mom then because I had moved back home. So, she came home. I told her and she was like, I knew. Imagine, I, I expected her to be like, yay. Or she was like, oh my God, my daughter. But she was like, yeah, I knew, I knew. I was just waiting for you to tell me. <laughs> you know, she knows her daughter. She knows my, she knows. And then, you know, it's so funny. When I got home, she bought a, like, a, a huge packet of pads, right? So she used her share. Is Gabaki. Stephanie did not use in the first week. Stephanie did not use in the second week. I uh, equally she's a fella and she knows my cycle. She already she had already suspected Stephanie. Stephanie is pre could be pregnant. So she's like, ah, I was just waiting for you to tell me, and I'm so happy for you guys. You know, he she knows my boyfriend, so she knows our history. She knows how much we love each other, how much you know. So it, it didn't it wasn't a surprise to her. She was so excited for us, and she's like, ah, what is my boyfriend's reaction? Because she really wanted to know if he was happy with me and yeah we were both we were all happy then i told my brother and the girlfriend and my niece okay my niece is so small she can't understand what i was like and then it's so funny you guys before we found out you know my niece every time i, I place on my laps then she wasn't a year old but i mean i turn one year now she's one year and a couple of months old because she was born in july august september october she's one year three months so what, what, when we were playing, you know, when she's on my lap and we are playing, you guys, she should, should, should sometimes touch my belly. I was like, and when we found out I was pregnant, pregnant we were like, okay, Kumba, she was trying to communicate to us. She was trying to tell us something, but we were asking my father to shikani. She's, she's trying to tell us, you know, it was so crazy. <laughs> but yeah, my family was so happy. You know, to find out I was pregnant. Then, 
I think a few weeks. Then okay, obviously I bought the medication I was supposed to buy and we started growing. And then now I had to tell my father, you know, I I I I respect my parents so much and I love my parents so much. And I am so happy I'm going to be a parent very soon. And I'm so happy, you know. I'm blessed to have both my parents, so I really wanted them to be part of my journey. I really wanted them to, you know, so sing cham tunje. Whether they live together or not, I didn't care. I just wanted, you know, they be happy for me. They know, you know. I just wanted them to know. So I also a few weeks later, I didn't tell him immediately. I feel because we don't live together, so opportunities are committed. Ningomu because I'm working and all that, but the. The day I every time I say Abu, I'll call him will miss. I things did not as in I did every weekend I'd say, Hey Ama, let me pass by my dad's place. Or Rama, let me call him, we meet for coffee or do something, we meet somewhere and I meet every time I planned something it was back going, it was not working out. <laughs> every time I'd plan to meet him, it wouldn't work out. So I was like I what the hell? I called him up. Uh, one day after work, I call him and I'm like, Dad, when you get when you get to your stage, don't go home. Just wait for me there. He was like, oh. so like, he was like what the hell? I'm like, I was like, Dad, I need to talk to you. I can't come to your place because I'm, I'm from work. I need to get back home because of lateness and all that. But I don't. when you get to your stage, don't go home. Wait for me there. He lives in Mountain View. So he waited for me there. I got off work. Go, went to went to Kino because my mom said in Kino. I went there. I left my things there. I went, took a snack because you guys like, hey, <laughs> you know, you have to feed the baby first. I went there, took a snack. Then, you know, we met, we met together. We took a very long walk. I, we had the best talk. I think the best talk we've ever had in, in my whole life. Like, it was so nice. I told him his reaction was perfect. You know, as in, I don't know, you know, actually funny enough, everyone have to, I wanted to tell Almost everyone, everyone close to me wanted to tell them in person. The few of on phone is because we did not get a chance to meet and I did not want them to hear I'm pregnant from someone else. But I was so happy. Like, you know, oh my God, I'm going to cry. <laughs> you guys, we walked. You know, I've, I don't think I've walked that long ever since I was pregnant. We walked like a distance. We talked, he was so happy for me, he was like, okay, we laughed all the way, it was so much, you know, that's what I wanted, you know, just to enjoy this moment, and their reaction was perfect, his reaction especially was, I love my dad so much, like, he, he does not know, I don't know if he, if he noticed, but he made me so happy, we had a nice walk, we talked, this is a new sequence at night, but so there's so much traffic we're not even noticing. We're just walking, you know, and just talking. And yeah, he enjoyed, uh, we enjoyed our walk. We had a good time. We bonded. We talked and he was happy. He's going to be a grandpa again because now my brother has a, a daughter. And now, hey, daughter, why? Hey, since we became parents, since, since I became a mom, <laughs> yeah, daughter. Anyway, so yeah, we, my, dad, my dad's reaction was pretty amazing. I loved it. Yeah, and then now we started our journey. Yes, and yeah, I am so happy. You can, I don't know if you can tell. I am so happy that I'm that I'm going to become a mom. I am so excited. I am so happy. Every oh my god, every clinic has been special. I remember the first time, you guys. I I I said I'm going to film everything, the heartbeats, the scans, everything. You guys, me. The first time the Lingia Kwa clinic to Lingia, we got into the clinic and the doctor was, and, and now the scan began or the heartbeat, you know, it's, it's so breathtaking. It's so, and you're in the moment. I even forget to any, even, you know, I, before we enter, every time I go to clinic for clinic, I always tell my boyfriend, before we enter, carry the camera, make sure you film. But you guys, once we enter inside, say to the to see the doctor, and the doctor is like pouring the gel, and just we see our baby in that c c computer. We're like, oh my god, it's so amazing. We even forget to film. So I was like, I'm just gonna narrate this, <laughs> you know, just to keep it here to to you know. Well, I'm gonna remember this after it was, but it's been amazing. I I got to, you know, we got to hear the baby's heartbeat. We got to any if. 
we've got to, we've gotten to see the baby grow because the first time we, we did a scan we just saw the head the spine and i think the limbs and the, the, the second time now the second time the baby was grown kabisa so we got to see the head the ears uh, mm, a couple of more organs you know then we got to see the reproductive system <laughs> So we know the gender of the baby and we are so excited one of us lost because <laughs> we, we 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 took sides for fun but we, either way we both love our baby boy or girl we both love our baby so much but for just for fun we had taken sides just to see who's gonna win you know just to keep it fun but either way we both we love our baby so much and we are so grateful to god that we are having this baby and the journey has been amazing and he i i really appreciate my boyfriend because he's been there all through he's never missed a clinic session he's always there you know since i moved out chores i don't do alone i'm helped you know i'm taking good care of you guys me and the baby are great we have a very good father and a boyfriend for me the father for the baby yeah and it's great i i don't know i just I, i'm so happy honestly because i can't it's still so and I don't know, it's still, I, I don't know, I think it will kick in, it, it, it will sink in, sorry, the day I will see her, her or him. Because, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just so excited, you guys. I'm so happy. Anyway, oh yeah, and so far, the cravings I've been having, I don't know, at first I started with pineapples. I really, I really ate a lot of pineapples. A lot of pineapples. Oh my god, a lot. I love pineapples. And then I didn't love cereals. Like, except beans. I love, I still love beans. But Ndengu, Kamande, those other things. Those other, Njahe, Ninji, those other ones. I, you guys, I don't even eat, eat meat. Like, it's crazy. I don't eat, and they are my meat lover. <laughs> I don't eat meat. I just love chicken and fish. I have, I love fish. Like that's what I eat a lot. Fish. Yes. I love, I love, I love. So I love, I love that. And you see this, this members that you eat with pili pili. Oh my God. I love those ones. Those bamangos you eat with chili. And then now them, then you need, hey, these things do, do a number on me, Basi. And then now they come in with pili, any, anything with pili pili too. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. You're doing a number on me. So yeah, and then of later on then juice, okay, and it's not at Yakina lemon. I mean juices like at passion, whatever the montes or things like that. No. Deleted. They, those juices we I don't know who buys deleted juices. I don't know if people still do that. But those are the kind of juices I want. Like they, they want that casca sweetness for that juice that you dilute. That one. Hmm. I always buy that one when I get a chance. Yeah, and of late, I, I love cakes. A lot of cakes. Cream. Anything with cream on it. Cakes, biscuits with cream, you know, chocolate. You guys, I'm starting to like sugary things. I started with bitter things, now I'm, I'm heading to sugary stuff and ice cream. Oh my god, I love ice cream. <laughs> yeah, but so far, so good. We thank God. I just wanted to put this memory here so that I will remember a few years to come. And also to share, you know, yeah with you guys with this new journey this new journey oh i the journey make to be a yeah so this is my baby and i love him or her so much <laughs> i don't know i don't know how i'm gonna tell you guys my journey. i don't know how to do it because i already know so it's not a surprise to me but it's a surprise is it is it necessary i don't know <laughs> but i'll see probably one day i'll i'll accidentally say it i don't know what to do with it <laughs> And, or I'll do it to my friends and then film it. That's also a good memory, right? We shall see. Okay, so many better suggestions. <laughs> anyway, if this video, I'm so sure it's so long. But I know it's worth it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for clicking on this video. I am so excited. And I'm so sure my friends and family are so excited with me. I hope so. <laughs> you guys. Oh, I have not told you. I went to... Uh, from, uh, from, Every okay, my mom said we always go to for gatherings. Every month we go to someone's place. You guys, they're coming to my place on in December. I am so excited. Finally, they're coming to my place in December, and then yeah. So the the the, the, the first the first three months 
I you know that nobody could tell, so nobody knew. So I'm like, ah, whatever. Like nobody, every nobody could tell I was pregnant. So the fourth one, I was sick. But then that's the one time I had a serious scare. I was sick. I um, I was very. I was sick, but just it, it was my chest. My chest had problems. I was, I was sick. So I was coughing a lot. But now it was like people will think I was sick. But now this this one that I turned six, five months, I this the last one, the last meeting we were in, I the bump was all over the place. It was so big. And then the fourth one, you know, because I was sick, I was so warm. So I had shoals on me. So they didn't see. But the bump was still there, but they didn't see. But now this one, I me I can't you can't hide but my, I was not planning to on hiding it anyway. So I went with a very tight top and tight and guys so and my family, I, the reaction was also amazing. Me, Kwanza, my favorite reaction was my grandma's, my grandma's reaction. Like, she called me aside. You know, nobody confronted. They didn't confront me as a group. Like, they were asking me individually, eh, hey, we are saying. And the reaction was amazing. The, everyone who uh, confronted me, the reaction was amazing. But my grandma's was the best because she called me aside. We talked, we talked, talked about my boyfriend. We talked, we talked. Then, you guys, she prayed for my baby. Oh, my God. Like, Mm, I felt like you know I felt hey, it was so emotional for me because she held my belly and she prayed for my baby she blessed my baby and it was like you know a prayer from a gr grandparent and a parent is so the magnitude is crazy so it, I felt so good my baby was blessed our baby was blessed I can see like some of my baby anyway guys let me end this video it's too long already but thank you for watching this video oh my god I'm so excited please um, I'm so excited. Yeah, so this is my new journey. I'm gonna be a mom soon. Baby's, um, baby's coming in March, 11th March. That's what we're told. But it's minus or plus, plus or minus two weeks. So we will see how it goes. But at least now, when I film my videos and you see a stomach, you'll be like, hey, this Chile is pregnant. She's not telling us what it's going eh? Yeah, so. Bye, you guys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope, I hope, oh my god, I hope you guys like it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>